traditional in these situations to talk about how much has changed, but I want to lead with what is the same. Every day, we welcome students from KU to preschool and everything in between, researchers and the community into our beautiful spaces. We lead tours and classes. We support researchers both here and remotely, and we share the joy and wonder of original documents with everyone. Today, of course, is November 8, 2018, and I was here 50 years ago at the time of the dedication. I think Spencer's treasures are beyond belief. So, well, it's a celebration, obviously, the 50th anniversary of the Spencer Research Library, which is an absolute gem of our university. It has such a phenomenal collection and really houses the history of our university. And, and in a way that's very accessible and easy for scholars to access. I'm just really grateful that we're having the opportunity to celebrate the 50th anniversary because sometimes the anniversaries come and go and we don't necessarily think about them. And, and Spencer has played an important role within the libraries, within the university, and within the community. You know, it's a major research library and it's one of the most important between here and probably Chicago. And the people are usually sort of blown away because if most people have very little experience with rare books. And to see them and realize that they're in terrific condition, even though they're 400 years old, 500 in some cases. Not only is the past the only thing to which we can compare the present, the best way for the past to become knowable and distinct is through the material objects that remain from the past. We both went to KU undergraduates. My connection with Spencer Library is when I was doing papers on King Arthur and I got the gloves on and everything and so I have fond memories. I grew up in Buffalo, New York and there's a lot of people there that have never been to Niagara Falls and I just chastise them saying, hey look, at you're missing out on one of the greatest wonders out there. I would say the same thing in Lawrence, Kansas. If you haven't been to the Spencer, you haven't seen one of the great wonders that, that right here locally. To one of your students, if he or she hasn't visited yet, what would your message to he or she be? Oh, it's an absolute must, but actually you need to visit frequently because the exhibits rotate and, and uh, the history that you learn, not just about the University of Kansas, but really the state of Kansas, the region, and our country, really is told here. Well, you need to get here, and you're, you're really missing out because the collection is, is special in, in the range of things that you'll get, to, you'll get to study and understand, but also where it will then take you and the other ideas and the ways you can connect with humanists and other scholars on campus because of their time here. I think I was intimidated to come into a place like this because I didn't know what was in there or who was around to help. So knowing all of these people and how kind and open and knowledgeable they are, just walking in and saying, I don't know where to start, can you help me? The collections are wonderful and very broad. There's something here for everybody, from the scientist to the doctor to the humanist and beyond. I live in Iola, Kansas. My wife Nancy and I do. And um, I practice law there. I'm semi-retired at this point. But i am also been a historian all of my life. And we came 80 miles for tonight. Waited 50 years to be here for the 50th, so here we are, snow or no snow. Isn't that amazing? 50 years later, come back for, to celebrate the 50th anniversary after being here for the, for the inauguration. And uh, that's the incredible dedication that people have to the University of Kansas. And we're, we're very fortunate in that regard. And I remember when I was teaching, I always dreamed up something for the students to do here because they assume that's only for the most elite researcher or something. I said, no, it, it belongs to everybody. And that's the important message, I think.